a hearty good morning to all from our english radio course book i'll explain a lesson for you today so turn page number 54 in a page number 54 we have lesson 4 the caro murder case in a lesson 4 we have some male characters and some female characters let's start from the male characters first mr hyde whose full name is edward hyde second mr utterson who is a lawyer third sir danvers carew who is an old handsome gentleman fourth henry jekyll who is a doctor fifth new common who is an inspector means a police officer now let's proceed towards the female characters number 1 a maid servant who is a teenager number 2 an old lady so let's start the lesson a maid servant whose house was by the bank of the river returned back to her house after serving her master it was about 11 o'clock night the sky was clear and full moon had a silver shining when she went upstairs in her room overlooking the window she got a sight of an old handsome gentleman who was just reaching the corner of the lane from the other side another gentleman appeared who was short in height he was a man with a hat and a cane the maid servant was surprised to recognize that the man in hat and cane was mr hyde while the old gentleman was speaking politely mr hyde was fiddling the cane like a mad man then all of a sudden mr hyde stamped his feet brandished the cane in an anger and banged the old gentleman he clubbed him to the earth he jumped on the victim's body like an ape and continued a storm of blows till the bones shattered mr hyde murdered the old gentleman seeing the horrible scene and hearing the sound of shattered bones the maid fainted after 3 hours the maid came to her cells and called for the police the police arrived and started inquiring they found a broken stick rolling in the neighboring gutter a purse and a gold watch was found upon the victim's body a sealed and stamped envelope on which the name and address were mentioned of mr utterson was also found the envelope was brought to mr utterson who was a lawyer he was told to visit the police station he dressed himself took breakfast and hurried for the police station when he reached the police station the dead body was shown to him he recognized the body and said that the body was of sir danvers caro the matter was explained to him and the broken stick was shown too he at once recognized the stick because the same stick had been presented by him to henry jekyll many years before to get sure he inquired whether mr hyde was a person of small stature or not 
he was told according to the maid servant's evidence mr hyde was a man of small stature the lawyer want to keep the secret a secret he knew everything about mr hyde how let me tell you henry jekyll and mr atterson were friends since childhood later on according to their profession mr atterson became a lawyer and henry jekyll became a doctor as a friend mr atterson had presented a stick to henry jekyll of which it is described in the lesson henry jekyll used to do some experiments with the medicines he had created a potion means a dose of medicine if you will take that you would be completely changed henry jekyll was a good man but he took a dose of medicine and became edward hyde who was a wicked cruel and an evil man now when he was evil he don't want to change himself and in that wickedness he haunted people in his own unique style this was the secret like this mr edward hyde and henry jekyll is a different name for the same person so once again welcome back to the lesson it was clear for mr atterson that the murderer is no one else but he was his friend mr hyde he knew his dwelling and requested the police officer to come with him in his cab so that they could visit mr hyde in his residence after an hour or two they reached a house and knocked the door an evil faced old lady appeared her face was evil but her manners were excellent she was asked whether the house belonged to mr hyde or not the lady replied yes they have arrived at the right house is mr hyde now here the lady was questioned she told that she had seen him till yesterday very well then we wish to see his rooms said mr atterson the lady declared that it was impossible mr atterson explained the lady that the man beside him was inspector new common of scotland on duty now the lady allowed them to enter the house mr hyde used a couple of rooms first room was furnished with expensive taste but the second room was completely opposite of it everything was scattered it seemed that something might have been lost and was searched hurriedly new common went near the hearth he saw some papers were burned there and in the grey ashes some parts of cheque book was found the other half of the stick was found behind the door it was the best proof for him 
He thanked Mr. Utterson and declared that now Mr. Hyde was in his hand. He said that Mr. Hyde might have lost his head or he would never had left the stick or burned the checkbook. He'll need some money to live. He's out of pocket now. We have to wait for him at the bank and get out the wanted posters. But it was not easy to get the photo of Mr. Hyde. Few people had seen him once or twice. He had never been photographed. The remarkable thing to be noted was his own unique style of haunting people. So the officer decided to have a notice printed on which his action of murder would be written and it would become the wanted poster. Our lesson is over. Till then, keep on learning. Take care. Thank you.